it's me. Um, I'm back, I'm alive, and actually much more low energy than what this introduction would have you believe. <laughs> Whew. Uh, is my kid's first day of school, and I put these blue light glasses on because you guys saw me get them at Target in January, and I haven't worn them since. <laughs> So I just put them on for this video because I thought they looked cool and I'm nervous. <laughs> so I've been gone all summer. Um, I'm the queen of excuses, so I'm just going to give you more excuses. Um... My brain is just stupid. It's really, really stupid. I wish I could control what it does, but uh, I can't. And, um, so it, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to just get out of bed every day and make it a good summer with my kids. And at the end of the day, I didn't have any more leftover to give. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, like I, <laughs> I just, since we've established, I have no coping mechanisms. I just like if I feel ashamed or guilty about something, I just pretend it doesn't exist. Like I went to my PO box and picked up some packages like once during the summer, maybe once in June. And I just put them in here and I, did, I, didn't, I didn't look at it again. I just, I couldn't, I felt ashamed <laughs> that I was letting you guys down. That then like physically impossible to like fix it or do something about it. And I, I don't know how to des describe that any better or worse. Uh, cause it's pretty bad <laughs> description, but, uh, that's, that's what it is. So yesterday, um, I, not yesterday cause I worked yesterday, the day before yesterday, I'm going to sneeze. I am. Um... <laughs> I came into my office, I got, I got a bug and I said, not a literal bug, but like a brain, I don't know, maybe I have bugs, who knows. Um, I got a wild hair and I came in my office and I sat down and I went through letters and packages that you guys had sent me and put everything away. And I think I was so overwhelmed with the affection that you guys and support that you guys always show me. Um, and me not showing up that I just didn't know how to cope with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I don't know guys. Like, it's funny because you guys always say like, I love how positive you are and you, you always uplift me and make my mood better. And, um, it's just so, it's so funny to me because, um, I struggle. I've not, that's not a mystery. Uh, I do talk about it, but you guys don't see that because I don't uh, post the videos um, in the thick of it. When I'm in the thick of it, I just disappear and I pretend like nothing. I just pretend like it doesn't exist. Like, no, I'm not letting anyone down. No, I'm, I, I'm just, you know, um, and when I journal, I do voiceovers. So, um, you guys hear my edited voiceover and those voiceovers I love to do, um, because I love to tell you about funny moments and happy things and make jokes. And, uh, when I'm struggling, I, I can't do that. I, I, I just don't have it in me. So, um, so that means that there's nothing because I actually had sat down and I had a couple of videos from the beginning of the summer where I had journaled and I just couldn't do the voiceover. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get it up for you guys. <laughs> My personality was flaccid. <laughs> and, um, so, so there it is, guys. And it brings me to the crux of my question and my apology uh, or explanation. What am I even saying? I, I'm back. I'm going to try harder. And I, 
I mean, it's not even really a thing of trying harder. It's just whether or not I can put myself out there for you when I'm not, not a hundred percent, because then I don't feel like I'm the happy, funny person that you come to watch. Um, I'm just somebody that you're watching struggle, which maybe helps because everyone struggles, you know? So I, I don't know what you want to see, but, um, since today was the first day of school, I am feeling like I'm going to have more mental capacity to spread around now. Um, I have wonderful children, but anyone who knows what spending time with kids uh, 100% of the time and then working and stuff is, uh, it, it's, a, it's draining. <laughs> I hate to say it any other way, even I think particularly because you love them so much, you want to give them the best of you and you feel guilty if you're not. And then that guilt compounds with depression, which compounds with shame and more guilt and <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I, I want to show up for you and be authentic um, in different ways. I don't know. I've thought about vlogging more. I think that would be fun, even though I don't do anything, uh, literally don't do anything. Um, but it would be more of a chance for me to show you guys, um, more of me, <laughs> like in an everyday scenario, whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I would start a separate channel for. And it's not something that I want my kids or my husband to be involved in either. And that's a hard part too, when they're home all the time with me is, um, I, I'm with them. And so I can't share myself with you without sharing them. And it's getting difficult now that they're older. Um, and they, you know, probably want their own privacy. Um, you know, they love to be on the camera and talk to you guys, but, uh, yeah, so it, it's, you know, weird, weird things happening. I don't know. So at any rate, um, I haven't left. Well, I did leave. I abandoned you. <laughs> Straight up abandoned you like peace, homies. <laughs> uh, but I've been here and I've been thinking about you. And when I opened those packages the other day and read your letters and it's not even the things, but in a way it is the thing. It, it is, it's the things and your words because the things that you guys send me are things that no one else in my life would know that I would appreciate like, and think we're funny and laugh hysterically at. You guys know that. And it's so weird that you know me better than most people in my real life. Uh, you know, um, and so I bawled like a baby and opened up packages and um, Hazel and Gabrielle and Lindsay and Rachel and Paula. Paula sent me a huge box a long time ago and Lily, uh, the sweetest little 13 year old girl. Uh, incredible. You guys are incredible. And Rachel and Kathy, it was Kathy, you sent me the huge box. And I, it was so funny because I was looking, um, as I was finally sorting through things, I was looking at one of the things in this big old box of amazing goodies, as long as, as well as stuff for my kids, which they thought was incredible, um, was this magnet that said, remind me never to volunteer again. And it was so funny. It made me laugh because I had just emailed Henry's teacher about volunteering for a field trip next week. <laughs> and as I did that like email, I was thinking, do I really want to do this? <laughs> Not really, but I don't want to miss it. And then I opened the magnet and I was like, oh my God, they know me. <laughs> Taught me before I volunteer again. <laughs> and then possibly, the most amazing thing, Rachel, I know, I think it was Rachel. Yes, look at what Rachel did. She hand embroidered this because she saw the video where I must have seen this somewhere. Didn't I see it in a magazine? 
And I was like, somebody who can embroider or knit or something, do this for me, like joking. And she did it. She figured out how to do it and she did it by hand. Like, you guys are absolutely incredible. I mean, the biggest hearts of anyone on the planet. Like, I, I can't. I don't know. So, <laughs> I, I just can't tell you thank you enough. Um, and everyone else, I mean, you, the other people that sent me things like stickers and, and I just, it means more to me than you would ever know. Not because their presence, but because you guys get me like, we're here, we're here. <laughs> and, um, I, I want to be so authentic with you um, and tell you how much you mean to me and that it's not, um, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, this hobby of mine has turned into such an amazing thing that I never ever could have ever anticipated. I mean, not like monetarily wise or or fame or anything like that. That's not it. I mean, I'm not like, I don't have that many subscribers, but um, just on a connection level with people that I never ever would have known, never ever would have um, heard their stories and shared things with them. Um, it's incredible. And I, I feel bad that I'm back here again tearing up and saying, sorry, I was gone again. But I guess that's life, guys. And um, I, I'm always here. Uh, I'm always not 100%. Um, but you can always reach out to me uh, because I am not perfect. <laughs> and that is never what I wanted to share on this channel was perfection. Um, but I guess in a sense, I did because I just gave you an edited voiceover version of what's going on in my life, uh, which, you know, I thought is fun to watch. And um, so I don't know the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video was to tell you guys that I was going to show you some collage stuff, but I think I'm just going to do that in a separate video and just title this video like... Should I do the YouTuber thing? I'm sorry. Just title it, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. It'll get one million views by tomorrow. I'm sorry. And I'm even crying in it. It's perfect. But um, you guys are incredible. And I'm here. And the kids are back in school. <sighs> and uh, hopefully it frees up some mental space. Skinny's still kicking. He's over there sleeping on my couch. He's kind of been, uh, it's been a summer. We're taking it day by day. Um, there's been a couple times where I thought, um, that we were gonna have to say goodbye to him, but he, um, he just keeps on ticking <laughs> and he's not suffering. Like that's the thing I was really worried about, you know, but, um, He's still here. <laughs> I'm still here. You're still here, hopefully. And um, I'm going to be back in the next video very shortly to sort through collage stuff because I have some pictures that I got printed at Walgreens and I wanted to journal and I was going to show you guys how I sort through my collage stuff to get ready to journal. But then I got talking for almost 15 minutes. So here we are. Um, I love you guys. If this is the first time that you've seen my channel, I'm, bye, I guess. You're not going to want to come back. Uh, but I hope you do, because we usually have fun. Um, and I, um, I'm just thankful for you all. So thank you, and it's uh, good to see you again.